Hello. I heard your transmission. Can you hear me? They haven't found me yet, but I can't talk long. Shut down the fusion torches. Go to the... God, I hope you're hearing this. Listen, we don't have much time. The Batarians fired up the fusion torches. You've got to shut them down before we hit Terra Nova. Who's shutting down the torches? Find this problem and deal with it. This is nothing compared to what's been done to the Batarians. We've been forced into exile, forced to survive on what we can scrounge up. It's been like that for decades. Don't make it sound like you're the innocent party here. You brought it upon yourselves. Really? You invaded our space, took our resources, and when we asked the Council for aid, they brushed us off. We were left to defend ourselves, but the humans were stronger than us. We knew that. The Council knew that. But it didn't matter. It was you. You and your kind are the only reason we're in this position. I'm not letting a terrorist like you go free. Do what you want with the others, but it'll be the last thing you do. I hope this is worth it! Who's the real terrorist here? You. But you're dead. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn? But no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for himself. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, we've got a situation that requires your expertise. A group of fanatical biotics have kidnapped the chairman of the Parliament's subcommittee on transhuman studies. Their freighter sustained damage and is dead in space. Get in there and take them down. What kind of resistance should I expect? The biotics were seen loading equipment into the freighter. Expect traps and combat drones. Nothing you can't handle. What are the biotics asking for? They're L2 biotics, and most of them are suffering major side effects from the implants. The subcommittee denied a request for reparations to all L2 biotics. Apparently they'd like the chairman to reconsider. What's the priority on saving the chairman? Saving him would be my preference, but we must make it clear that these tactics don't work, Commander. Your top priority is to neutralize the biotics. Understood, Admiral. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate you taking the time, Commander. I'm sending you the last known coordinates of the freighter. Good luck. Fifth Fleet out. Welcome back to another Mass Effect video. We actually just come up, came off of a really good episode. Last episode, if you missed it, we just finished our journey to Asteroid X-57. And to be honest, it was very, very fun. So what we're going to do first, though, we're going to hit up Hades Gamma. So as you guys saw, we're going to rescue somebody or at least try to rescue somebody. How are we going to do it? I have no clue. What I really want to do, though, I want to bring in Garrus and I want to bring in Rex. Mm, do I want to bring in Garrus? 
Yeah, we're gonna bring in we're gonna bring Garrus and Rex as far as this goes. My two bodyguards, as you can see, we did change our armor. There's actually another thing I want to do with um, with Rex. It doesn't look like this Corian armor, um, so we are actually good. Okay. There's obviously some enemies to start things off first. We're always going to start with our Stinger. Rex is going to go ahead and start with the Storm, and then our boy um, Garrus is going to start with his assault rifle. Got some pretty good assault rifles there. Let's see what we got. Hopefully this is a quick episode. Quick mission so that we can do one of the harder missions. I actually hate this one. Oh no, I hate this one. Yeah, really quick. I need to upgrade some of my squad members. Okay, so specifically... I want to upgrade some of his things here. We're going to do that. I think it's about time and we're overdue to upgrade some of our players. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. We're upgraded. We're going to save because I don't want to have to do this again. And we're probably going to die once or twice here. So, yeah, the, these guys are pirates. And they have some very dangerous Omni tools. Intruders, kill the yep, those are the Omni tools I'm talking about. Get rid of her, get rid of her, get rid of her. Aw, oh, man. These things literally trap you. And it's super annoying. I really hate it. Okay, got rid of one of them. And it's just gonna. Did I get him? Okay. We actually are making it out okay. Get rid of this terrorist. There you go. Get rid of her. Rex, do something. Um, what are we gonna do here? Wrap charging. Shield boost. Can't use that. Can't use stasis. I'm gonna overload on her. And then I'm also going to. Use the adrenaline burst. There you go. Okay, that was not as scary as I remember. Okay. I think that was all of them. We gotta find the captain now. Got two minutes or so. Yeah, I think he's in here. See how it is? You write letters and everyone ignores you. Force is the only thing people appreciate. So how about if I kill Chairman Burns and finish the charade? Please, I was trying to help you people. Let's not do anything we're all going to regret. Why not? What have we got to lose? Since the chairman here decided that we didn't get reparations, we've got nothing left to live for. But I've changed my mind. Seeing you all, it's, it's clear that you all deserve... You had your chance. Some L2s are nearly crippled from side effects of the implants, but you voted against reparations. Think about this. Burns is the one man who can help you. Yes, if you release me, I can take another look at the reparations request. What, we're supposed to trust you? Sure, you promise us freedom and say everything will be fine, but as soon as we surrender, you'll double-cross us. I'm not promising to let you go. All I'm saying is that Burns will take another look. Right, Burns? Absolutely. I had no idea that the L2 biotics were this desperate. If I'd known, the reparations will come. For whatever it's worth, I promise that. You're right. I don't want to die. Maybe something will happen this time. We surrender. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. I'll see to it that the reparations discussion is reopened. I didn't know they were so desperate. Then you weren't doing your job. The Fifth Fleet Cruiser will pick you and the prisoners up. Got some carry go. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took oh, me. Oh, man. For the longest time when I have played Mass Effect, I always end up getting him killed. <laughs> This was the first time I've ever actually saved him, and I've actually played Mass Effect 1. Um, 
technically twice, maybe three times, and the reason I say that is simply because, um, as I mentioned previously, I tried to record this before upgrading my PC, and um, I didn't really finish it. I got like a quarter of the way there, and then just stopped recording it. So those two times that I played, with the exception of this time, he's always died. <laughs> so I was actually quite surprised we were able to save him. Now, did it cast casualties? Yes, it did for this pirate at the very least. I'm just going to go ahead and loot. And then we'll go ahead and get out of here and we'll start with the main course of this episode. Message coming in. Patching it through. Thank you for dealing with the hostage situation, Commander. Chairman Burns was quite impressed by the way you resolved the situation peacefully. Your assistance above and beyond the formal duties has been noted, Commander. Fifth fleet out. So we're back to the Normandy. That was a pretty fun little epilogue to get things started for us. And we're simply gonna visit the other system just before we get started to the main course here. Let's go find our Asari. Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Okay. So, we're gonna make it here without dying. That's the goal. There's gonna be some geth. And there's gonna be a very difficult situation for us. But we're gonna make it without dying. Because I know we're capable. You can already start seeing some red dots. Can we shoot him from here? Probably not. There was this one time I was actually driving through here and, and I fell off the dang map. I fell into the lava like a dummy. I'm hoping I don't do that here. I don't remember seeing that. These things should be pretty easy to KO or kill. See, all you gotta do is do that. Easy. <laughs> I really love the cheese that you could do with this ship with the rover. It's simply amazing. It's like GTA. I'm playing some GTA lately. That's why I keep saying that. Okay, so... Bro, we're gonna go through this straight on. We got the shields. We ain't scared of these guys. As a matter of fact, what we're gonna do... Hmm, I guess there isn't a way. We're gonna have to go around. Yeah. I can just go without getting stuck. Hello? There you go. Rovers go through anything. At least that's what Mass Effect has taught me. Oh, because of my goof, this thing totally missed us. <laughs> yeah. We got the rover. We're not scared of anything. Boom, we dodged both of those. Yeah. We just blow things up. Because that's what we do best. There's gotta be some more. Oh, hi there. Okay, there's three more. Probably in here. They're probably in here. I'm probably gonna have to get off and kill these things. Let's see if I can force some of them out.
Maybe go through. Yeah, no, we're just gonna get off and do it. Do it like men. Damn. There's only one, so it shouldn't give us too much trouble. And it's a rocket trooper of all things. It's a good thing we can just do that to it. Oh, we got kind of lucky. The controller stalled. Man, I wish we could just run faster. Remember to stay hydrated. Yes, I have water right here. Thank you. Oh my! <laughs> That's funny. I hate when it does that. Oh, I thought I'd try it out. This is probably going to be another rocket trooper. Should be over here, right? No, there's nothing here. Did we really just go into the wrong section? Over there. That's where we need to go. Okay. Hello, little Geth. I'm here to make friends. I don't want to kill you. Oh, you want to do that, huh? Yeah, just get out of here. Okay. Can I break these? Let's punch it. Gosh darn death. Okay. Settles it. Let's go back. I think that's the way we were supposed to go. I don't think that's where we came from. So we're gonna go over there. There was another geth over there, but we'll just let him be. Right, this is the way we're supposed to go? Yes, sir. Unless the Geth is all the way in the heck over here. Yep, it's an Armus. Armature is what it's called, not an Armus. Oh, and you guys don't know what's gonna come yet. For those that haven't played at least. There you go. Oh, don't fall off the lava again. <laughs> I swear when that happened, it was the worst thing in the world. Okay. More geth. More of which are just gonna get run over. Just like that. You know what, armature? You don't want the same destiny, do you? There you go. That's what we do best. You want some of this too? There you go. Just destroy them all this way. Oh look, at this one's bigger. This is a Colossus. We don't care about these Colossus either. Oh, both of you want some of the smoke too? How? Oh. How? How? Stop it. I'm just gonna keep cheesing it. Cause that's what we do best, we cheese things around here. There you go. And we got a free level up because of it. There you go. That worked out. Okay. We're almost there. I wish you can just hold it and speed all the way up. Like it makes no sense why they didn't just let us do that. And they capped this damn thing. Yeah. Yeah, I love blowing things up. This thing's amazing. We can stand a chance. Um, I'm not gonna say there's anything a little over there. I was gonna turn over there, but there's literally nothing for us to do over there to begin with. Number three, facility number three. This is where the Asari has to be hiding. There you go. These cats don't stand a chance. 
It can bring whatever. We're just gonna run through them. Just like that. Oh, hi. Farewell. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah. Gotta get off our rover and handle things like men. I was watching the SpongeBob movie the other day and it just brought back so much memory, so much nostalgia. That's why I keep saying that. We're gonna handle things like men. Okay. Nobody's gonna use shotguns. We're just gonna use assault rifles for this one. With the exception of me, because I'm a because I'm cool. You guys can't shoot like me. Trooper does not know what it's doing. Oh, oh, that trooper though does. What is that? Is that a regular trooper? That thing looks kind of huge for it to be just a standard trooper. Yeah, ambush it. Easy stuff. Nothing over here. I really love the soundtrack of this, by the way. Love it. Okay, I'm gonna use my sniper rifle. Use your sniper rifle too, because you're a really good marksman. Even though we don't have that upgrade right now. I really hate how this thing overheats so quickly though. Okay, there you go. There you go. That's one. Double. Then this one just got knocked down, but there you go. It's done. Where is it, Garrus? Oh, there you are. You're not shooting anywhere near it. Oh, there's another one. Oh, oh, there you are. Yeah, that one was pretty easy. There you go. Rex died? That's kind of shocking. Put the Lancer for you. We'll kill this guy. Don't worry, Rex. We'll get you. Oh, there's more than one. Y'all lied to me. Get him, Rex, or Garrus. Move out of my way, though, dude. There you go. There was another one somewhere, wasn't there? Rex, you doing okay, buddy? You can get off your nap now. There you go. Okay, this part's gonna get kind of difficult. Um, can we heal? What does this do? Allows you to immediately store squad members fighting state after they've been knocked down in combat. Okay, um, but this is not necessarily what I'm looking for. I gotta heal Rex. Because things are about to get a little grimy here. I don't even know if this will work, to be honest, but oh, this is not what I want. We'll equip the Stinger, but we will also up equip our Banshee here. Okay, let's go. Not an armature, this is a straight up Colossus. Oh, these little stalkers are annoying, dude. Those things right there are the worst. It's all good, it's all good. We got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. No, careful. Okay, I need to use immunity. Because I need to get rid of this darn thing. Oh, immunity did not work. 
Okay, I need to use Unity. And I need to use Overkill. That's why. Killed all three of us. Just like that. Oh, I hate this so much. This is one of my least favorite parts of this game. I mean, I love this part. This part is very challenging, and I really love that about this game, is that it's very challenging. But, come on. This is a little overkill for me to just have three squad members. Sorry, you got a little itchy. Garrus is already dead. Oh, hi, Gav. Can you please die? Hello? Oh man, I really hate these. Okay, maybe we just get away from the Colossus altogether. Okay. Um, we're gonna use immunity for now. Come on, dude. Okay, where are the others? No, Rex! Trying to get rid of all of these things right here. Okay, where's the stalkers? I want to use Unity, but I don't know if it's a good idea to use it right now. Who am I kidding? I'm going to use it. We're going to use Unity. Y'all got to get out of combat range, though. Get on me, get on me, get on me. Pause, pause, pause. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna use my handgun. We're just gonna use the handgun. It's more accurate. It's more lethal, in my opinion. See? The assault rifle could never. Where is it? Come back. Don't get too close to that damn thing. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh, I hate that. Okay, good stuff. We're getting closer. Can I shoot that? Okay, I think I got a clear shot on it. So you guys just focus on the other ones. And I'll focus on this thing right here. Oh yeah, this is a cheat code right here. I just can't see its health is all. But I'm sure it's going down. Hello? Is it working or not working? I'm just gonna keep shooting at it. Oh, they got a sniper. Okay, this is where the Avenger comes into play. Excuse me. Thank you. Where does this thing go? I really cannot tell if I'm doing damage to it. Oh, move out of the way. Yeah, I told you to move out of the way, my guy. Oh, oh, I thought it was down. It looked like it was down for a second. Must have been totally tripping. There you go. Oh, no. It's just moving. It's moving funny. Yeah, we get away from the Colossus. We sh shoot and hide. There you go. Is that an armature or is that a Colossus? Yeah, I cannot tell for the life of me. Get away from it, guys. I can't tell if, if I'm doing any damage to it. Gotta get closer. Oh, it is an armature. I thought it was a Colossus. Yeah, there you go. It's down now. Ooh, that was intense. I still can't believe I died, though. That was some um, doo doo. There's another one. Bro. Yeah. Coward. Okay. So that was the harder part, I believe, of this section. So we're just gonna go straight to it. Okay. 
make our way to this big dungeon, this big du this big tunnel here. I'm not gonna heal Garrus. Can he can he heal himself yet? No, he cannot. That's all good. It's all good because we got unity now. It's obviously gonna be more Geth because our signal is jammed. Oh, hi, dude. Yeah, we just mauled this guy. Just mauled that one too. Get this guy too while we're at it. Yeah, that shield's not gonna do anything for you, my guy. Okay, what else do we got? We're just gonna run it. Hello? Ah. You just gotta set the shield up in the worst possible sections. Yeah, go down. Aside from the citadel, I mean. Can we speed this up? Way. Let's get moving. I'm trying, Rex, but this elevator is too dang slow, okay? All right. This yellow suit is actually kind of clean, not gonna lie. And yellow is one of my least favorite colors. No offense to anybody who likes yellow. Drones, right here. Where, though? Hey, who can use the hacking one? He already used it. Huh, not that it matters anymore. Sterile white. Build things home. Oof, it's getting not as hot as it was earlier because I was more nervous earlier on the last episode. This one is actually clean. I'm doing okay. And just felt like the elevator breaks. Okay, the Asari is actually right here. Hello? Could somebody help me? Please? Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped, I need help! Liara to Sony, I presume. Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for me. Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? We just need to figure some way past this energy field. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I am nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Oh, great. Yeah, that Krogan is actually somewhat difficult, I'm not even gonna lie. Where are these guys? Let's see. Two shot right here. There you go. Where else? Oh, hi. One shot. There's one more. Smell him. Somebody stake him out. Where is he? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Rex, can you move over? Yeah, there you go. Was that was that a kill? That was not a kill. Yeah, this one's gonna be a kill. Believe! Got a med gel out of it. Okay. Let's go ahead and make sure that there's no other Geth. Yeah, see? Like this one. Die. Oh, nice shot. Yeah, that that came in clutch. That shot came in clutch. Oh, look, storage locker. Easy. Okay. Is there another one? Yeah. Free stuff, y'all. Don't let this go to waste. So if y'all playing, 
Make sure you grab your loot. Yeah, this should give us enough time to free her now. Okay. This is gonna be A. AX. AX. AXY. AXB. 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 AXBY. AXBY. AXBYX. There you go. This helps me memorize. You know what I'm saying? This helps me keep things in track. Yeah. I wonder if the Krogan is going to be over here. I don't remember off the top of my head, to be honest. Yeah, the Krogan's definitely going to be up here. Okay. Let's free her. Oh, how did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. We have to get you out of here before more Geth arrive. Yes, you're right. I've seen enough of them to last a lifetime. That button should shut down my containment field. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. Obviously he wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know... What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA, eight minutes. If I die in here, I'll kill him. Bro, how are you gonna die in here and then kill him? Makes zero sense, Rex. Come on now. Okay, so the Krogan's gonna be up there. Can't withdraw my weapon yet. Or can't uh, draw my weapon yet. you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Hand the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. We don't have time to deal with this idiot. Charge! <sighs> I like your attitude. Oh yeah, because you're about to get wrapped, boy. Is it new? Oh my god. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Where is he? Where's the Krogan? You guys let him off your sights? Okay. That, that's alright. We'll worry about that later. Okay. Um, can you stop using... Yeah, we'll do that. Oh. Oh, my bad. My bad, Rex. It's my fault. Get rid of the sniper. Okay, where's the Krogan? Where is the Krogan? Where is he? Oh boy, that was close. Wrap him. Oh, you can't. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna use, um, yeah, adrenaline burst. There you go. Easy.
Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes? It's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right. And eventually, I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Okay, this isn't helping us find Saren or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit or Saren. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her bionics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate? Or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion. Coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? 
Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Don't tell me how to do my job. You are free to act as you see fit, Commander. Our role is to offer guidance and advice. It's up to you if you're smart enough to listen. Liera's on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. So that is that. We got our other ally. T I don't remember her name. I, again, I actually, when I played the your first three, the first playthrough, excuse me, I um got her like legit right before the last mission. So yeah. Nevertheless, that's gonna be it for this episode. I'm a little tired. I'm gonna go to sleep. Make sure you guys leave a like. And I am super excited because things are just gonna continue to escalate and get better. This was a little bit of a quicker episode, but nevertheless, it was a fun one. See you guys later. Shepard, at last. My name is Ilanos Heliot. I doubt you know it. Who do you think runs the Terminus clan, Shepard, huh? The one who kills the most men, seizes the most ships, pillages the most colonies. Three years ago, I was the strongest. You're the one behind the attack on Elysium. I was the motivator, the instigator. The one who promised glory and riches for sacking the largest human colony in the cluster. The one blamed when it failed. Failed! I was ruined when your kind held against the Blitz. What better way to recover my reputation than by eliminating the first human specter? We'll find a way out of here. <laughs> I rather doubt that. Goodbye, Shepard.